Good evening, dear students. Welcome to Tenali Part Shala. So, as you know, I am making a videos on important questions with solutions of each and every chemistry chapters first PUC. Already, I have uploaded eleven chapters videos for chemistry first PU. So, if you are not seen that, please go through the videos first. The link is given in the description. Please check the description, guys. And I have also made a videos on strategy how to get out of out. By scoring only six or seven chapters, those videos link is also given in the description, guys. Please go through that and then come to this one. In today's session, we are going to talk about P block elements, and in tomorrow's class, I'm going to upload a video on MCQs. Each chapter's important MCQs with solutions. Okay? Yes. Stay tuned, guys. Let us begin. Which element in group thirteen has lowest melting point? See, so lowest melting point is there for gallium. Mention the element that acts as both metal and non-metal. Answer is germanium. Germanium is a metalloid, guys. Metalloid means it can act as a both metal as well as non-metal. Give the composition of borax. What is borax? Borax is nothing but Na2B4O7 into 10H2O. These 10H2O are called water of hydration, guys. So these are present, but they are not going to involve in the chemical reactions. So what is the composition of borax? Or sometimes they will ask, what is borax? Borax is nothing but having a formula. The compound having a formula Na2B4O7 10H2O. Write the dimeric structures of aluminium chloride and diborane. So these structures you refer from the textbook, guys. Very important structures. They may ask for diborane or aluminium chloride. I have not drawn the structures here. So the space is given there. You can draw it, guys. So from the NCERT textbook, right? Yes. Write the molecular formula of inorganic benzene. Or name the inorganic benzene. Or what is inorganic benzene? All these three questions are are same. The answer is same, guys. Inorganic benzene is nothing but you know B three N three H six B three N three H six. What is organic benzene? C six H six. So B three N three H six is called inorganic benzene. This is also known as borazine or borazol. So this B six B three N three H six. Or borazine or borazol is called inorganic benzene. Remember, very important question. Write the structure of inorganic benzene. So this also you can draw from the NCERT textbook, guys. I have not drawn here, so it is very difficult to draw the structures. So you please draw the structure from the NCERT textbook. What is hybridized state of boron in diborane? What is the hybridization of boron and diborane? Diborane formula B two H six and hybridization is sp three. Which hybridization is there? Sp three. Remember, give a reason. Though gallium lies below aluminium in the periodic table, atomic radius of aluminium is more than gallium. You know. Gallium lies below aluminium, but atomic radius of aluminium is more than gallium. So, according to our trend, as we move from top to bottom in the periodic table, radius should be increased. But aluminium is having more than gallium. Why this is so? Because poor shielding effect of 10d electrons in gallium. So, in gallium, poor shielding effect of 10d electrons. Therefore. Therefore, aluminium is having uh, more atomic radius than gallium. Boron has very high melting point. What is the reason? Because of its smaller atomic size, it forms strong covalent bond with neighboring atoms. So, because of its small size, it can form a strong covalent bond with neighboring atoms. So, it is difficult to break the bond. We have to provide more energy, more heat. Therefore, boiling point is melting point is more for boron. Boron compounds are Lewis acid, or BF3Cl3 is a Lewis acid. Give reason because you know boron compounds or boron family all are having electron deficient compounds. Electron deficient means they have a less number of electrons. Uh, they wanted to get an electron to acquire stable octet state. Therefore, there is a less number of electron. Therefore, they are called as Lewis acid. Always they will accept a pair of electron, guys. Boron in boron compound is electron deficient. Same again. 
Boron has only three electrons in valence cell. After sharing it with other atoms, there are only six electrons around boron atom. So its octet is not complete. Therefore, it will be accept electron. Always it will accept electron. Stability of plus one oxidation state increases down the group. 13 elements. The stability of plus three oxidation state decreases down the group. 13 elements. Plus one oxidation state increases and plus three oxidation state decreases. Why this is so? Due to inert pair effect. What is the reason guys? Due to inert pair effect. This is going to be happen. Boron cannot have covalence more than four but aluminium can have. Why this is so again? Again same. Boron do not contain d orbitals. While aluminium contain d orbitals. Boric acid behave as a weak monobasic acid. Because it accept a pair of electron from OH ions to complete its octet. Boron is used as a control rod in nuclear reactor. Because boron 10 isotope has ability to absorb neutron. Therefore it is used in the nuclear reactor. Which is one is that? Boron. Concentrated nitric acid renders aluminium passive. Due to the formation of protective oxide layer on the surface of the aluminium. So nitric acid renders aluminium passive because it will form protective oxide layer on the surface. BH3 exists as a diborane. Because boron is electron deficient, it wants to get electron, so it will become a di uh, dimeric so that it can attain its octet stable state. Complete the following reactions. So many times they have asked guys. So in P block elements 3 mark question you know already. So 3 mark questions they are going to ask means they will ask definitely reactions. One reaction is compulsory. Yes, I vote to 4 H up. Give rise to fill in the blanks you have to write there. Question mark means you have to write the answer plus H2. Second question, third question. You see there answers are if you silicon dioxide silicate reacts with H up to give silicon tetrafluoride. HCOOH. What is the name of this compound? Formic acid or methanoic acid. Formic acid at 373 Kelvin temperature and concentrated sulfuric acid. Formic acid will liberate CO. CO means carbon monox monoxide. Zinc oxide plus carbon monoxide gives what? Zinc plus CO2. So remember very important reaction. Name the gas liberated when formic acid is heated with concentrated sulfuric acid. Just know above we have studied guys. Formic acid liberated with concentrated uh, sulfuric acid it will liberate what? CO carbon monoxide gas. Carbon monoxide. Just know above reactions we have studied. What is basic structure or unit of silicate? SiO4 4 minus is the basic structure in it. Name the allotropic form of carbon whose structure resembles saucer ball. Fullerene. The answer is fullerene. Just it looks like a saucer ball. Ping pong ball what we can call. Write the partial structure of silicon polymer. So I have not written this question also because this structure is very difficult to draw in the PPT guys. So just you draw yourself by seeing the NCRT textbook. Give the composition of water gas. Already you studied in hydrogen also. Water gas is nothing but mixture of CO and H2. And producer gas is the mixture of CO and Na2. Correct. Mention the type of hybridization of carbon in a diamond. It is sp3. In graphite and fullerene it is sp2. Remember there are three allotropes of carbon. Diamond, graphite and fullerene. And out of these three only diamond is sp3 hybridized. The carbon is sp3 hybridized in diamond. And remaining graphite and fullerene sp2 hybridized. Mention any one allotropic form of carbon which is sp2 hybridized. So you can go for graphite or fullerene. Any one example. What is dry ice? Solid CO. Solid form of CO2. Solid form of CO2 is called a dry ice. What is meant by catenation? Very important question. Catenation is a property of element to form long chain of same atoms. Catenation is a property of element to form long chain of same atoms. Give reason again. The stability of plus 2 oxidation state increases down the group 14 elements and stability of plus 4 oxidation state decreases down the group 14 elements due to inert pair effect. Diamond is bad conductor of electricity. Due to sp3 hybridization of carbon atoms, they do not contain free electron, therefore, they do not conduct electricity. Diamond is covalent, yet it has high melting point. Due to strong covalent bonds holding all the carbon atoms. 
Graphite is good conductor of electricity. Due to sp2 hybridization, the electrons are free there. Due to sp2 hybridization of carbon atom, one valence electron of each carbon atom remains free. The free electron conduct electricity. Graphite is soft and slippery. Weak Van der Waals force of attraction allows the layers to slide over one another. Due to that, graphite is soft and slippery. Two more questions. How does boron react with air? Boron does not react with air in crystalline form. In amorphous form, boron react with air on heating to form B2O3. What it will give? B2O3. Boron trioxide. How does aluminium react with air? Same. Aluminium reacts with air to give aluminium oxide. Aluminium does not react with dry air but in presence of moisture some water content should be there layer of Al2O3 is formed on the surface which prevents the further reaction when heated aluminium burns brightly in air to form aluminium oxide name the glass liberated when aluminium dissolves in dilute hydrochloric acid right equation or same question can be asked like this how does aluminium react with dilute HCl give equation aluminium reacts with dilute HCl to form AlCl3 aluminium trichloride with liberation of hydrogen gas. Write the reaction to justify amphoteric nature of aluminium. Amphoteric means aluminium can act as acid as well as base. See there, aluminium react with both acid and base. Aluminium react with acid to give aluminium chloride. Aluminium react with NaOH base to give sodium aluminium hydroxide. So salt plus H2, salt plus H2. That means aluminium can react with the base to give salt plus hydrogen liberation. Aluminium can react with the acid, again it will give salt plus hydrogen liberation. So these two reactions indicate that aluminium is behave as a amphoteric in nature. Give any two or three reasons for anomalous behavior of boron. You know, why boron is behaving differently than other elements? See, smaller size, high electronegativity, high ionization enthalpy, absence of d orbitals. These are reasons. Okay, anomalous behavior of boron is due to these reasons. And what are anomalous uh, behavior of boron? So, what are the different properties? This is a case. See, both questions are different. Sometimes they will ask reasons for anomalous behavior. Sometimes they will ask anomalous behavior. Following my point. So, above in fifth question, we have discussed the reason for anomalous behavior. Now, in sixth question, we are discussing any three anomalous behavior of boron. Boron is typical non-metal, whereas other members are metals we are talking about 13 group boron is a non-metal remaining other members are metals boron is bad conductor of electricity but whereas other members are good conductors boron shows allotropes while other members do not show allotropes very important boron forms only covalent compounds while all other members form both ionic and covalent compounds what is the action of heat on borax Na2B4O7 10H2O on heating borax turns into transparent liquid it solidified into glass like material called borax bed due to the formation of metaborate see there borax Na2B4O7 dot 10H2O when if you heat it you will get Na2B4O7 which again if you heat it you will get NaBO2 sodium metaborate NaBO2 is called sodium metaborate with elimination of boric anhydride B2O3 very important reaction guys what happens when borax dissolves in water borax dissolved in water it will produce NaOH and orthovoric acid H3BO3 name of the acid is orthovoric acid sometimes they will ask for comparative also now this time MCQ questions are there they may ask this one boric acid or orthovoric acid so when borax dissolved in water what is released orthovoric acid H3BO3 just like a HNO3 nitric acid H3BO3 orthovoric acid remember when borax dissolved in water, orthovoric acid is liberated. How is orthovoric acid prepared from borax? Same reaction, above reaction. You can write HCl also, you can write water also, both are correct. So, boric, uh, sorry, borax treated with HCl and H2O. Why are you adding HCl? Because to make the reaction faster. NaCl ion, boron trihydroxide is formed. This uh, boron trihydroxide undergo oxidation to give H3BO3 orthovoric acid. What is the action of heat on orthovoric acid? 
ऑर्थोबरिक एसिड व्हेन यू हीट इट एच बी ओ टू इज प्रोड्यूस मेटाबोरिक एसिड एच थ्री बी ओ थ्री ऑर्थोबरिक एसिड एच बी ओ टू मेटाबोरिक एसिड अगेन यू हीट इट यू विल गेट बी टू ओ थ्री बोरिक बोरिक ऑक्साइड सॉरी बोरिक ऑक्साइड हाउ डू यू प्रिपेयर डाइबोरेन फ्रॉम बी एफ थ्री बोरॉन ट्राइफ्लोराइड प्रिपेयर्ड बाय ट्रीटिंग बोरॉन फ्लोराइड विथ लिथियम अल्यूमिनियम हाइड्राइड इन डाइमिथाइल ईथर सी दैर बोरॉन ट्राइफ्लोराइड रिएक्ट विथ लिथियम अल्यूमिनियम हाइड्राइड एल आई ए एल फोर एच फोर इट विल गिव डाइबोरेन बी टू एच सिक्स दैट इज गॉट डाइबोरेन लिथियम फ्लोराइड एंड अल्यूमिनियम फ्लोराइड इज एलिमिनेटेड How diborane is prepared in the laboratory? Very important question, guys. So many times in annual examination, the question is repeated. By the oxidation of sodium borohydride with iodine, you take sodium borohydride, add iodine, you will get diborane. This is a very important reaction. Very important question, guys. So many times in annual examination, same question is repeated. Explain reaction of diborane when it is exposed to air. B two H six. Plus O two gives B two O three. Large amount of energy. Energy is also released during this process. Remember, it catches fire spontaneously and burns in oxygen, releasing large amount of energy. B two O three boron trioxide is formed. How does diboron react with water? Diboron reacts with water to give boric acid. That to ortho boric acid it will give H three B O three. Undergo hydrolysis, forming boric acid. And liberates H two gas. Sorry for the spelling mistake, guys. There, so some typing mistake is there. It is not H comma. It is H two gas. Bo uh, diborane. When you add into the water, it will give what? H three BO three. Ortho boric acid with liberation of H two. Write the structure of diborane. Explain the nature of bonding in it. So you can take the structure from the NCERT. I will explain the bonding. Already you know that in diborane. Boron atom is sp3 hybridized. Terminal BH bond is two center two electron bond, and bridging BHB bond is three center two electron bond. That is also called a banana bond. Already you studied in the NCERT. Same points have taken from the NCERT. So you draw the structure there from the looking from the NCERT textbook. Right in it to uses of boron used in making bulletproof vests, used as a control rods in nuclear reactor, manufacture of heat resistant glasses. These are the applications. What are silicones? Mention one of its use. Silicones are organo silicon polymer with general formula R two S I O three. Silicones very important again. This is uses are it is used in making waterproof papers, wools as a anti foaming agent for industrial purpose process. Due to its inert nature, used in making body implants in cosmetic surgery. What are zeolites? Give an example. Zeolites are Aluminium silicate, hydrated aluminium silicate. Zeolites are hydrated aluminium silicates. Example is ZSM5. What happens when silica is heated with NaOH? SiO2 plus NaOH gives rise to Na2SiO3. Sodium silicate is formed. Sodium silicate. Na2SiO3 means what? Sodium silicate. What is repeating in it in the organo silicon polymer? Name the starting material used in the manufacture of organo silicon polymer. So what is repeating in it in organo silicon polymer? Just now we studied R two S I O three. R two S I O is the repeating unit in the organo silicon polymer, and its uh, name uh, used in the raw material is dialkyl dichlorosilane or diaryl dichlorosilane, alkyl or aryl, aliphatic chain or aromatic ring. Anyone you can use here. Explain the reactivity of group fourteen elements with water. Carbon, silicon, and germanium do not react with water. Tin can react with water and decompose the steam. See tin S N plus H two O gives rise to S N O two plus H two. H two O is breaked by tin, so therefore tin decomposes steam. We can say lead does not react with water due to formation of oxide layer on the surface. Any two reasons for anomalous behavior of carbon: small size, high electronegativity, high ionization enthalpy. These are the reasons for anomalous behavior of carbon. Absence of dear metal. Three anomalous behavior of carbon. Now, previous question we have discussed reason for anomalous behavior, and these are uh, anomalous behavior of carbon. The maximum covalency of carbon is four, whereas other element exhibit maximum covalency six. Carbon has very high cationation ability. Carbon alone can form multiple bonds among themselves. 
carbon forms a large number of hydrides known as hydrocarbons which are thermally very stable the other element form limited number of hydrides which are thermally not very stable reducing nature of carbon is very high while the reducing nature of other is less name any two crystalline allotropes form of carbon diamond graphite and fullerene these are all are in crystalline form only why carbon monoxide is poisonous because when uh, it, it it will react hemoglobin to form what see there because of its ability to form highly stable complex with hemoglobin which prevents the oxygen carrying capacity of the co carbon monoxide reacts with hemoglobin to give a complex which prevents the oxygen carrying capacity so if it is preventing if it is uh, not carrying oxygen means what it de uh, definitely behaving as a poison only what happens when silica is treated with naoh sodium silicate is formed just now we have already discussed silica react with naoh to give sodium silicate na2siO3 last question of this session see guys very important again differentiate the characteristics of diamonds and graphite remember diamond is hard graphite is soft diamond is bad conductor graphite is good conductor in diamond carbon is sp3 hybridized in graphite carbon is sp2 hybridized diamond is colorless transparent graphite is gray color and it is opaque opaque means it is non transparent so these are the very important questions regarding p block elements guys i hope this video is helpful to you if it is helpful to you please like the video guys and share among your friends please share among your friends so it will be helpful to all the students so tomorrow i will upload important mcq questions from all the chapters and then we'll finish it up the chemistry if you want mathematics model question paper solution also you comment below guys so i will try to solve the model question paper also and if you want any chemistry important concepts lecture also you can comment below i will try to upload yes thanks for watching thank you